based on the traditional diet patterns of countries including Italy, Spain, and Greece. The Mediterranean diet was first defined by physiologist Ansel Keys in the 1960s. Meanwhile, the ketogenic keto diet was introduced in 1921 as a treatment for epilepsy. It has only gained traction among the general population within the past few decades. While both diets are often used by those looking to lose weight, improve heart health, and boost energy levels, many may wonder which is more beneficial. This video will compare the key benefits and downsides of the Mediterranean diet and keto diet to help determine which is right for you. And keto diets, the Mediterranean diet and ketogenic diet both limit and restrict different foods. While no foods are technically excluded on a Mediterranean diet, there are certain foods that should be limited. For example, red meat such as beef, pork, and lamb is only enjoyed occasionally while following the Mediterranean diet. Instead, other protein sources like poultry, seafood, and legumes are consumed more regularly. Processed foods and sweets are also limited, which includes refined grains, processed meat products, convenience meals, and foods high in added sugar. Additionally, sugar-sweetened beverages are typically avoided, including soda, sweet tea, and sports drinks. Compared to the Mediterranean diet, the keto diet is much more restrictive. The ketogenic diet involves increasing your consumption of fat and strictly limiting carb intake to enter ketosis, a metabolic state in which your body uses fat for fuel instead of sugar. Therefore, a typical keto diet often eliminates many high-carb foods, including nutritious ones like fruits, starchy vegetables, grains, and legumes. Foods that contain high amounts of sugar are also excluded, like candies baked goods, sugary drinks, and desserts. Instead, the ketogenic diet prioritizes foods that are low in carbs and high in fat, such as animal proteins, dairy products, non-starchy vegetables, and oils, or butter. Both the Mediterranean diet and ketogenic diet have been associated with several health benefits. May support heart health. The Mediterranean diet is perhaps most well known for its ability to support heart health. Studies also show that the Mediterranean diet could help decrease blood pressure levels and protect against plaque buildup in the arteries, both of which can contribute to heart disease. Research on the relationship between the keto diet and heart health has turned up mixed results. Some studies show that the keto diet could potentially reduce levels of total and low-density lipoprotein, LDL, or bad cholesterol. The Mediterranean diet encourages a variety of nutrient-dense, high-fiber foods, which could help stabilize blood sugar levels. Research shows that the Mediterranean diet can improve blood sugar management and may be associated with a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The keto diet has also been shown to improve blood sugar management in people with type 2 diabetes. According to one small study in 30 people with diabetes, 26% of those who followed a very low-calorie keto diet for 12 months were able to stop taking all diabetes. Some research suggests that the Mediterranean diet may help support brain health as you get older. For instance, one study found that greater adherence to the Mediterranean diet was associated with decreased markers of cognitive decline and dementia in older adults. Another study concluded that the Mediterranean diet could be linked to improved brain function and memory, as well as a reduction in symptoms of depression in older adults. The ketogenic diet has also been studied for its ability to enhance brain health. In fact, the ketone bodies that are produced as an alternative source of energy in the keto diet may have neuroprotective properties and are even being studied for their ability to protect against conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Though both the Mediterranean diet and keto diet may offer several health benefits, there are a few potential downsides to consider for each diet as well. Unlike many other diet plans, the Mediterranean diet doesn't have any strict rules or regulations to follow. While some people may enjoy the flexibility that this eating pattern offers, Others may prefer structured diets that provide more detailed guidance. The Mediterranean diet also encourages moderate consumption of red wine with meals. Plus, because the Mediterranean diet promotes mostly whole and minimally processed foods, it can be more expensive and time-consuming to follow than some other plans as well, which might be a key consideration. The keto diet is much more restrictive than the Mediterranean diet and may be more difficult to follow as it requires you to track your carb intake carefully. Not only can tracking be stressful and time-consuming, but some research suggests that food logging could foster an unhealthy relationship with food and cause feelings of guilt, shame, anxiety, or inadequacy after eating. The keto diet can also cause several side effects initially as your body adjusts 
known as the keto flu. Some of the most commonly reported side effects associated with the ketogenic diet include headache, nausea, fatigue, dizziness, and brain fog. There are limited studies on the long-term safety or side effects of the ketogenic diet. Some research suggests that it could increase your risk of fatty liver disease, constipation, and kidney stones. Furthermore, careful planning is needed to ensure nutrient needs are met on the ketogenic diet, as it may also be linked to a higher risk of vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Though there is no research comparing the effectiveness of the Mediterranean diet and ketogenic diet directly, both can help promote weight loss. One study found that the Mediterranean diet resulted in up to 22 pounds, 10 kg of weight loss after one year and was as effective for weight loss as low carb and diabetes friendly diets. On the other hand, a small study in 32 people with obesity found that those who followed a low carb, low calorie diet lost 58% more body weight after four weeks than those who followed a low calorie Mediterranean diet. However, Keep in mind that both groups experienced similar reductions in belly fat and total. Additionally, the low-carb diet was comprised of about 30% of daily calories from carbs, which is more than a traditional keto diet typically provides. The ketogenic, keto diet, and Mediterranean diet are two popular eating patterns that have been studied for their potential benefits. In particular, both may help support heart health, blood sugar management, and brain function. However, some studies have found that the keto diet may increase levels of LDL cholesterol, so it may not be as effective at supporting heart health. While both diets can also promote weight loss, the Mediterranean diet is easier to follow and is likely a safer, more sustainable option in the long run. Weight loss on the keto diet is likely to peak after a few months and is often not maintained over time. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.